Hey everyone, it's your girl Jazz coming to you once again with another video today. How you doing? You good? Me? I'm chilling. Today's been a real relaxed day for me and the boys. So we just been chilling, chilling out. But anyway, today the video is going to be a cosmetics haul. It's just got a little this, a little that, and then I have a few nail polishes and a few lipsticks. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. We're going to start with this Wet n Wild Mega Eyes Cream Eyeliner. As you can see, it's open because I have used it. It comes with this little brush. Can you see that? Let me just take it out. It comes with this little brush, which is cool. I, I use the brush. I don't have a separate eyeliner brush. So I use this brush, which is cool. And then the cream eyeliner. I have this in black. 886 black. And this is what it looks like on the inside. And I have been using this. I really like this. I used to, when I first got into makeup, I was using the regular like black eyeliner. The pencil, the eyeliner pencil. And after a while, like when I would put eyeshadow on, it would rub off onto the black. So it wasn't really showing up. So I was like, I have to find me something new. And I don't like liquid eyeliners. Or maybe it's just the ones that I've been using. I don't like those. So I opted out for this cream eyeliner. And so far, so good. I like that. I'm backtracking on the eyeliner, so I was like, let me go ahead and try. Let me get pick up another eyeliner. Before I picked up the uh, the cream eyeliner, I got this Wet n Wild Mega Last eyeliner, and I mm -mm. if I could, I would take this bad boy back and get my money back. And that's what it looks like right there, it's swatched, and it's so rough. Like it's the the, the uh, what is this called? The pencil, the ink, whatever the whatever the inside of this is called. I'm it's pretty sure so that's rough. And I put it on, it was like scratching my eye. I was like, oh no. I won't be using this. So I don't like this. If I could, I would take this back, but I can't, so it's just gonna sit there. It was only maybe it probably was two dollars. Maybe. Yeah, maybe it wasn't. And I picked up some well, just two makeup brushes from the Eco Tools. I got this uh eyeshadow brush. I haven't used it yet, as you can see. I think this was three dollars. I picked up the Eco Tools eyeshadow brush. And I've been hearing a lot about these, so I was like, let me try those brushes out. And then I picked up the bronzer brush, the Eco Tools bronzer brush. And this is so, this is so soft. I really like this brush. It's so soft and it's nice and big. So I go ahead and I, I use this bad boy a lot. Now we're going to jump into your nails. My nails. very dry. So. In the winter time, when the weather changed, the cuticles get the shriveling up, get the scratchy and be peeling and whatnot. So I picked up this cuticle, this cuticle cream from Sally Henson. And so far so good. I haven't been really using it the way that I should, but I have put a dent into it. I haven't been using it the way that I should, but then it's cool. My nails have always been like chippy chippy or like they don't break off, but they do chip. Like I can peel I can peel my nails off like sometimes like if I see something start lifting I can literally peel it off so I picked up the Sally Henson thicken up strengthening nail thicker and this bad boy is the truth this really has been working for my nails my nails do not chip as much if anything has chipped lately but I filed my nails down and then I put this on and it's been working wonders for my nails so I'm glad I actually picked this up now getting into more colors I picked up a few nail polishes, but this is Revlon Minted. Can you see that? It's a Revlon Minted, and it's a cute, a really cute Damn. mint color. I seen African Export. She had on this pretty blue, royal blue, shocking blue color. I don't know if, I can't remember if it's from OPI or Sally Hansen. I see so many nail polishes out there. I can't remember where it was from, but they don't have that out here, so I couldn't go get the exact thing. So... I walked in the store and bam, I saw that and I was like, I'm getting that. This is Revlon Mysterious, 460 Mysterious. This is super de duper cute on. My next one I picked up was a L'Oreal color. This is my first time picking up L'Oreal and uh, Revlon. I'm normally, like I told you guys before, I haven't never, I've never been into nail polish. So if I seen something at Dollar Store, I picked it up. That's how I, that's what I did. But now I'm realizing that dollar store nail polishes, if you got the wrong top base coat, it's peeling right off like within the next hour. And who got time to do that? You spend all your time on your nails and then the nail polish peel off. That's so aggravating. But yeah, I picked up this L'Oreal. It's called 
Butterfly Kisses 380. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that, but it's called Butterfly Kisses. It's a pretty pinky purple lavender color. It's so pretty. I really like this color. This is really pretty. Then I have two Wet n Wilds, different lines. This is from the Fast Dry. It's called Gray's Anatomy. And this is cute. I don't know if you can tell, but it has like hints of like green, purple, silver going on in there. It's so pretty. Like as you turn it, I don't know if you guys can see that. Am I, is this even in the shot? I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's so pretty. That was Grey's Anatomy Wet n Wilds Fast Dry line. I have another Wet n Wilds uh, nail polish, but this is from the Mega Last. And this is called Through the Grapevine. This is also a pretty, another pretty purple color. It's called Through the Grapevine. This is really pretty. I haven't tried okay, this one. Moving yet. right along into the lipsticks, the color that I have on is from the CoverGirl Queen collection, and this is in Q four eighty five Cool Khaki. You guys can see that, and it's a pretty, pretty nude color. As you can see, it's pretty shimmery, but you could tone that down with the. I'm like I told you guys before. I'm not putting on any lip liner, but I rock this bad boy with a brown lip liner because I do it with the uh, really light button wild color that I wear. But Again, the color that I have on is Cool Khaki from the CoverGirl Queen collection. It's a pretty, pretty, a pretty nude, tan nude color. It's really cute. And that is it, swatched. That's it swatched right there, the CoverGirl Cool Khaki on my hand. Hopefully you can see that. Yeah, this next color is called Mauvy Night. From Revlon. It's really pretty. It's a really pretty mauve pinkish color. It's really cute. Oh. Well, I got a nicked it a few times. But anyway, that's the color right there in the tube. And that sits swatched right above the cool khaki. Right there above the cool khaki. You guys can see that. And these are all the super lustrous lipsticks. They feel so amazing going on. The CoverGirl Queen collection felt good going on also. It felt really moisturizing. But this next color is in Berry Rich from Revlon as well. And it's a pink. It's a yeah, pink. Straight out pink. <laughs> but in my opinion, you can make anything work, honey. Use a, a nice lip liner and it'll work. Nice lip liner cute makeup it'll work this is very rich on my lips this next color is very hot from Revlon as well I love this color it's really pretty purple really pretty lavender purple and that's it right above very rich right there at the top it's very hard swatch it's really pretty it's a pretty purpley purpley lavender color that's it in the tube this next color I have on is pretty it's called wild orchid and right now it's giving me uh, I have a color called NYC blue rose and it's coming off like that it's a pretty blue based pink it's really pretty this is wild orchid on my lips I like these and that's it in the tube it's really cute hopefully you guys are getting this real color payoff with it and it's not washing it out but it's, it feels so good. These lipsticks feel so good. This next color is ugh, gorgeous. Gorgeous fuchsia. It's called Fuchsia Fusion from Revlon as well. It's really pretty. It's called Fuchsia Fusion. It's right above the cool khaki, or right above it, right there. On this side, the only one on that side. It's the Fuchsia Fusion. Swatched on my hand. This is Cherries in the Snow. It's so pretty. It's like a reddish. It's a red. Ah, oh, it's so pretty. It's Cherries in the Snow, ladies. This is so pretty. Let's watch that for you guys. So on that side, Cherries in the Snow. This is a Rimmel lipstick. Let me close this. This is now, that was all my Revlon. Now I'm moving on to my Rimmel. This is Rimmel Bordox. 
Yes, Burdox is a pretty, pretty like burgundy, deep red, burgundy red. It's really pretty brown, sort of brown, has a hint of brown in it, but that's it right there. And they have a scent, but the scent don't bother me. But it does have a scent, but this is Bordox. And this feels good too. Make sure you exfoliate your lips when you're applying lipsticks because it is just last one is from it's another Rimmel, but this is from the uh Kate collection. And this is in 01. It's a pretty red. That's it on my lips. It's really pretty. This one feels good also going on my lips. But that's that. It's really pretty. And that's Kate Moss all the way at the top. So you had the cover girl, then it goes into my Revlon, and then my last two on this end, the top two on this end are my Rimmels. That was the haul, ladies. Hope you like the whole lipstick swatching thing on the lips, because those are the ones that I like. I feel like I'm so close to the camera. If I am, I'm so sorry. But that's it. And if it's not too much, please feel free to like, comment, and or subscribe. Until next time. Bye.